The latest polling data shows the, the Liberals gaining back some traction on the Conservatives. If the election were held today, 35.5 percent say they would vote Conservative, while 33 percent would vote Liberal. The NDP would get 18.7 percent of the vote, and the Bloc Québécois would get 4.1. And for Canadians, choice for a preferred prime minister, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau is back in the lead with 29.9 percent support. Conservative leader Erin O'Toole is close behind with 29.8 percent, and NDP leader Jagmeet Singh is at 19.5 percent. The Nano survey of 1,200 people has a margin of error plus or minus 2.8 percentage points 19 times out of 20. And joining us now to break down all these findings is Nick Nanos, founder and chief data scientist at Nanos Research. Great to see you, Nan uh, Nick. <laughs> um, Great to see you. Definitely. Great to see you too, Lois. Well, th thank you. And definitely, uh, what a difference a day makes in the Nanos poll data that we saw Friday. The Conservatives were ahead by five points. You had uh, Aaron O'Toole also ahead of Justin Trudeau as preferred prime minister. Now the Liberals are closing that gap, but the Conservatives are still maintaining their lead. So what do you make of this? What's behind the numbers? Well, it's been a very exciting campaign. The other thing is, is that when we dig beneath those top national numbers, where the movement took place in favor of the Liberals over the last couple of days was in the province of Quebec. And we know that the first French debate occurred. And it looks like as a result of the performance of Justin Trudeau in the French debate, the Liberals are picking up steam. The bloc have been dropping support in, la in the last couple of days. And I think that explains what has uh, closed the gap, because in the, in the latest three-day tracking that we released yesterday, the Conservatives had a five-point advantage. Fast forward now, as of last night, it's two and a half percentage points, which means it's within the margin of error again. So it's like, looks like someone starts to move ahead. And then something happens in the campaign, and that something in this particular case was the TVA debate in Quebec, which looked like a positive outcome, at least for Justin Trudeau in the province of Quebec. Right. And were there certain issues that resonated more with Quebecers uh, when it came to the Liberals during that debate? Well, I think for a lot of Quebecers, what they were doing was sizing up all of the federal party leaders, Justin Trudeau, Blanchet, the leader of the Bloc Québécois, and also Aaron O'Toole, because Aaron O'Toole's numbers had been moving up in the province of Quebec compared to the past. But I think the, the reality is a lot of this has to do with leadership, not necessarily specific issues, and who Quebecers think can best represent them, and also best kind of advance a vision for the country that aligns with many Quebecers, and for the Liberals at least, issues like their position on child care which is basically a lift or a variation of the child care program that, that the province of Quebec instituted, has a lot of traction among Quebecers. Something like that, compared to Erin O'Toole, who wants to subsidize child care, that doesn't connect. So I think, based on the numbers at least, it looks like Justin Trudeau and the Liberals got a little bit of a bump specifically in the province of Quebec coming out of the leaders uh, out of the leaders debate. Right, and let's talk about where the NDP currently stand in the polls as well and what you're seeing there in terms of support and why. So we have the new Democrats at 18.7% and to put this into context back in August 12th which seems like a thousand years ago Lois they're at 20.7%. So the, in generally the same range. The good news for the new Democrats is that they're still within striking distance uh, of the two front runners but these debates, especially the debates that are coming up this this coming week, the French and the English debates held by uh, sponsored by the Debates Commission, are actually going to be even more important for Jagmeet Singh and the New Democrats because what he needs to do is to carve out space among progressive voters in order to try to pick up support, usually at the expense of the Liberals. But he's still done fairly well in the campaign. His personal numbers are strong. The NDP numbers are still pretty good, but he just needs a little bit of a break in order to be a little more competitive than he has been so far in the federal election. And Nick, just a few seconds here, but I did want to get your thoughts on how the Bloc and the Green Party have performed as well so far in the campaign. Well, you know, the Bloc had a little bit of a surge uh, mid-campaign, but now we're seeing them start to cycle down in the last uh, few days. So not great news for the Bloc. And for the Green Party, a bit of a disappointment because, you know, back in August they were at around 8 percent. Now they're at around 4 percent. Enemy Paul, unable to do, run a federal national campaign like other leaders, has just been at a disadvantage compared to previous Green Party leaders. All right, we do have to leave it there. Nick Nanos, founder and chief data scientist at Nanos Research. Thank you, as always. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.